Hey guys, welcome back to my Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone with Full Boy V5. In the last part, we got up to this point in the dungeon chambers, and in this part, we're going to be collecting the lace wing flies for Snape. Yeah, just for Snape. I was going to say for Snape's lesson, but we've done it already. So, anyway, um, I've just ended off the last episode just a few minutes ago, but you've had to wait a whole day. Ha 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 ha. No, not really. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, so. Uh, might as well collect these beans now, seeing as we're out in the open, and I won't be tempted to later. Uh, can I get that one? Go on, Harry. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, yeah, you did it. Okay, so there's anything one, one thing to do here, and that's to pull the lever. Woohoo! And the door's open. Right, okay. So it's not the one that's got the Z's coming out of it. And we got a random five points, okay. So to the cauldron room. Okay, so we've got a bit of a platforming section here. Um, you can use you can use your fapendo to stop the cauldrons from moving, so you can jump on them. Uh, can I stop it, please? Stop! Uh, I said stop. We named the Lord. Okay. Get off. Right. Okay. So they won't stay still forever like that. Um, personally, you can just uh, jump on the cauldrons without even stopping them, so you don't even have to really use uh, Flipendo. So, um, can, can I jump on that ledge? I'm going to see if I can. Right, go on, Harry. I've never done it before. I'll see, see if I can cheat my way. Go on, Harry. Right. When shall I jump? Right, I'll do it now. Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Oh, that was to be expected, but you know, maybe the fourth, maybe the left uh, a glitch over, or something like that. Right, okay. This co this uh, room isn't really that hard at all, unless you're really bad at platforming. And no, Sonic Adventure 2 does not um, reflect on how bad my platforming is. That's just a bad game. Well, not a bad game, but it just didn't like me. Uh, thank God, thank God, Harry, you can grab. And that's something more suggested than it should have done. And we get two. Why did we get a level? Whoa! I'm sorry, but I was just surprised by that jingle. All right. Anyway, another lever here. All right. Okay. So I think we only have one more um, platform to raise up. You raise me up, and we get some lovely beans here. Don't fall down, obviously. I think the first time I played this game, um, I actually went back on the cauldrons because I didn't uh, realise the beans were there. Oh well. Anyway, let's go through here. To the troll the, to the troll bedroom. This is a part that also shit me up when I was younger as well. Right, come on cutscene. Right, so, what we're not supposed to do is wake the troll up. Is he still awake? Can he sleep? Yeah, he is. Now, for some reason, a tiny little cage slam can wake him up, but yet this cannot. I honestly do not get that. Right, okay, so you're thinking, well, why can't we just go out instead of going into his room? Well, because there's a key under that cage that we need to get. Now, don't run in, otherwise you'll wake him up. In fact, to be honest, I think you can run in, jump on that table, get the beans, move that cage, and then get the key and run. In fact, I'll try that. Actually, no, we won't be able to, because I don't think we'll be able to win Guardian Leviosa it from there. Let me try it anyway. If you wake it up, won't we go back to sleep unless you leave the room, so... And don't worry, don't follow you out the room. Right, okay, let's get these beans. I'm not good at stealth. As we all know. Right, he's still asleep. Now, you ready? Now, what he's supposed to do is put this on that haystack there, but I think we'll wake him up. Right, now run. He can run faster than you, so do be careful. Where is he? Uh! 
Is he just running around? Trolley, I'm over here. Oi, swat. Ah, run! Okay, that was a bit of fun. Okay, so now we've done that, we can get the lace wing flies. Not a hard job at all, really. Climb up these platforms. And bloody hell, I'll tell you what, Harry must have... I don't know, he must have some super genes or something to do all this in his first year. And there's a weird troll face on the thing, but oh well. Alright, oh, yeah, we're not there yet. Okay, so now we need to get rid of these trolls with some more puffer pods. Uh, these trolls will chase after you if you attack them with Flipendo, I think, so, or they'll see you, like, directly. Let me try. Yeah, they will. Okay, so, be careful of that. I go back to the drain. Bingo! Nice one. And I'm gonna try and make that- I'm gonna try and make that, uh, drain hurt me to show you what I was on about last episode. And can you... Shit, I'm quite near him, actually. I can't even see. Camera, work with me here. Camera! Good boy. No, good- right, stay. Stay. Right. Oh no, it don't- It hurt me, I swear! I'm not a liar! Huh. <sighs> Game just- even this game that I love so much. And here's the fireflies. Even though they're tiny little dots just fl fl whizzing around in a uh, a jar or whatever it is. Uh, potions class. Okay, so back to potions class we go. Okay, so there's the lace wing flies after all that fuss. And don't worry, the dungeons aren't done yet. Oh, God, no. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Give me those fireflies. Please would be nice. Now leave me in peace, Potter. Your defense against the dark arts class with Professor Quirrell is about to start, and you're already late. And whose fault is that? Yours. If you didn't send me off on this stupid little adventure to get these stupid fireflies that you could have got yourself. <sighs> God, logic in this game. Logic in every game. Right, calm down, Ben. It's okay. And now we can't back up, go back. In, we can't go back into potions class, but why would you want to? Anyway, let's slide down here because we're Harry Potter and we're super cool. Right, defense against dark arts class. Um, this is more or less the same as every other spell class. All right, timer here. Uh, we've got some beans here, but this is actually more difficult than uh, other uh, timers. Uh, you've got to put, you can you got to wait for them books to fall out. Sorry, you can get big, get big, get big. Um, let's see. And there's also yeah, there's that uh, little uh, Bertie Bot's Over Flavor Beans uh, package there that you can get to get some more beans. You do have to be quite quick on this though if you want the beans and to get there on time though. So be careful. Come on, books. Books. Oh shit, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. Oh no, don't fall down there. Now I've got to go down. Oh, I'll tell you what, like, one bean is not a huge sacrifice. Don't, don't, don't fall. Thank you. Oh, four. That was close. Is that still there? Or is it faded out? No, it's still there. Okay. Anyway. God, we're taking a long time on this first section. I think there's like three sections. Mind you, we are getting a few beans, so. Right, oh no, it's going to fall out, aren't they? Right, go back. I probably could have made that and all, but oh well. Alright, come on, fold out. And I've actually, I was thinking about getting Rayman Origins the other day for the 3DS. But I, I think I'd rather get, for God's sake, I think I'd rather get it for the Wii, to be honest. It looks better on the Wii. Um, but I'm not sure, I'll have to wait until reviews come out, but even if I do, I'm, I really am low on money at the moment. So I'm saving up for the last story, which is... Um, I think Z, uh, this, when I first heard about it, I thought this trilogy that was uh, that Operation Rainfall trying to get localized were a trilogy of games on the same series, but they're not. Um, but Last Story does look really good, and it actually got a higher score than Xenoblade in Famitsu, which is a really good uh, Japanese uh, game magazine. So 
And I'm not going to get those beans. I don't really see the point. There's loads more beans in the dungeon, so... Do we have to wait for another book to come? Hurry up! I probably could have made it and get the beans as well, but oh well. Welcome, young Mr. Potter. To d d defense against dark arts, you're just in time. Okay. Gather round, class. I'm P P Professor Quirrell, and this is your d defense against the dark arts lesson. You may b begin, Harry. T today we'll learn a most p powerful spell, Verdimilius. Get ready. God, it sounds like me in my videos. Okay, this is one that tricks you, I think. That was good. It's either this one or in the second game. Not this uh, pattern here, but the one after it, I think. Perfect. Well, that was quick. C concentration, please. It's going to, to get difficult. Oh, damn, we didn't say harder. Okay, it's maybe it's not this one. There's one where it tricks Excellent. you, thinking it's going to go to another uh, button, but then it goes back to the same one. Perfect. Watch out for this Right, one. okay, I think it's this one here. Yeah, right, okay, so it goes back... It tricks you trying to think it's going to go uh, to another one, but it goes back to square. That's good. Well, I think it only does that at the start, so that's not hard at all, really. Excellent. Okay, forget what I was saying. Perfect. All right. And I actually played the PC version of this game before this you one. You now enter the chamber one at a t -t time to p practice the Verdimilius spell. Okay. Um, and... I think I got to the point with the invisibility cloak. If anyone wondering. Now, Harry, let's see how you d defend yourself against the d d dark arts. First, c cast your Verdimilia spell t toward the d darkness. Observe how the Verdimilia spell flares, forcing back the d d darkness, lighting the p path across. F f follow the path quickly, as your spell will only hold off the d d darkness for a brief t time. Good luck, young wizard. Okay, and like I was saying, um, yeah, when you see that little sparkle above the darkness or whatever those platforms, that's when you catch Verdimilius, and it just makes some platforms appear, so a handy spell to have, but, you know. Impressive. Five points to Gryffindor. Okay, so that's it for this door. Harry, I've been waiting for ages. Do you remember that Dumbledore said that the upper castle is out of bounds to all students? That must be where the stolen object is! Let's split up and look for a way up there. Good luck, Harry. Why are we being so nosy, Hermione? Can't we just get on with our schoolwork and actually learn something? Anyway, like I was trying to say about three times now, I actually had the PC version before this until the disc broke. Um, and I think we have to go through this way. before the, uh, the disc broke, and I actually really liked it. Um, and there's another Verdimilius thing here with some beans. Is there any on the floor? No, okay. Um, I did really like the P PC version. I think it's longer than this version, um, and it also has better graphics. Uh, but overall, I think I like this version better. Like, um, in the PC version, to learn spells, you'd uh, have to... I'm going to get that bean in a minute. To earn spells, you have to uh, draw like a line or something on a, a certain symbol and I just I don't like how the spells work that game compared to this one so if I was going to suggest a game I'd definitely get, get this one instead even though it is shorter um, in fact get both of you could but like the PC version is like Windows 98 I think alright got it okay and I, I don't know why I'm wasting my time with all these one beans because there's quite a few beans in the dungeon, so I wouldn't worry too much about it. And you can come back down to the dungeon to get more. Um, let's use this door here. I don't know what's in the other door, where that uh, Bertie, Bertie Bot's Earth Over Beans packet was, but I suppose we'll go back and fi uh, find out in a minute, actually. Yeah, but first of all, we've got something of interest up here. Someone has been casting spells of the dark arts, Harry. It's all very peculiar, I must say. The exit to the dungeons is blocked by a horrendous set of curses. Dark arts magic, I'm sure. There are four curses, and each must be dispelled before the door will unlock. 
If the actual curses are hidden around the dungeon, once found, use your knockback jinx to dispel them. Okay, okay. So to get out of the dungeon, we need to spell these four curses. And thanks a lot. I was trying to explain your evil glory sexiness. That made no sense. Okay, so I guess we can't go back right through that door then to uh, get whatever was in there. There might have been a Witch's Wizards card, actually. Shit. Okay, I might go come back down to the dungeons another time and try and find out what that is. Um, anyway, so let's head through this door here. Rightio. Um, a Wiggum Wheel potion here. Let's make it. So, instead of finding random Wiggum Wheel potions now, you'll uh, find these cauldrons instead and have to do this combination mini game. I'm not sure why they did this to be honest, I think it was just, you know, immersing yourself in the Harry Potter world. Right. Let's drink it. Drink me. Mm. Right, okay, um, I think I'm going to actually end off the episode here because, um, I know it's quite short. Uh, for compared to my other episodes of this, but I think I'm gonna leave the rest of the dungeon to another time. And plus, I've had this ed headset on my ears for ages, and they're absolutely battering. So, anyway, in this part we did what we did, but in the next part we'll be completing the dungeons. Um, hopefully, God, I can't believe I missed that door. I really think there was a witches and wizards card in there. I think there was actually, but oh well. We'll go back there and try and find out another day. So, anyway, until then, I shall see you then.